abandoned New York City Old World photos. The Pulaski Skyway, Route 25, the world's longest high-level viaduct between Newark and Jersey City. And this is a very old picture, hardly built out, and we see this amazing feat of engineering in this old time period. And here a great example of what seem like ruins, abandoned 19th century factories, again looking like Civil War ruins, untouched and absolutely amazing. And here this is titled More Desolation in Jersey City. They tell us in 1916, this site was the site of hundreds of massive explosions of stored World War I munitions caused by German saboteurs. So they are telling us this area was bombed, but just giving us a stupid excuse telling us that World War I munitions were detonated by German saboteurs. Absolutely ridiculous. And I think this was sitting in this condition upon inheritance, and just getting to Jersey City much later in the game. Very interesting. We can see buildings out here at the base of the Statue of Liberty. And here a closer look at some of the remains of this sabotage explosion in 1916. And we're told today this is the site of a park. And just look how high-tech this is, in complete ruins by 1916. And by 1950 it would be a park and the building would be completely forgotten. Here, this is titled Ruins of the Central Railroad of New Jersey. Ruins. And this is what our inheritance look like from coast to coast. Cities filled with brick buildings in ruins, overgrown by trees and brush. Oftentimes heavy roof damage and not the kind of ruins that would take place in a hundred years. Another a hundred years and everything would be completely overgrown and our role as inheritors would simply be to clean up this place oftentimes for the worst. And the further back you go in time, such as this depiction of 1856. Very simply, the more advanced things were, similar to images I've shown of San Francisco in this same time period being 100% built out. We have that going on here in New York City, Lower Manhattan. And we are to believe that they quarried all of this stone, dragged it here via horse and buggy, as we can see down here. Here we go, a little look at our proud inhabitants, and I just don't think so. This is as ridiculous as San Francisco building out a city, laying it out in this fashion in such an early time period. This is a city of excess. This is the end of a civilization, not the beginning. Absolutely high-tech in every way, and in many ways having the feel of an ordinary city, but way too much in this early time period. Just look at this flagpole compared to these people. And the trees that appear to be at least a hundred years old in the 1860s, and this having a very similar feeling to any of the world's fair images that we look at. Just people strolling around, bewildered at their new possession. A ripe and empty city ready for the taking and inheriting. Absolutely mind-blowing. Here's New York in 1972, and we can get a feel for the ruins and everything looking original in this time period. All buildings of the old world, with the exception of a couple. Here, another look at everything original, everything old world, except for these cheap wooden bumpers. And here's an old image, now a park, and this is all abandoned way back. And here some more ruins, from 1913, the Central Railroad in New Jersey overgrown and forgotten about. And here we're to believe that, the city was built by these people, and would fall into complete disrepair as if a bomb went off, and not be repaired until the 1970s. Does this make any sense? And here a look from the 1930s. Are we building anything here, or are we just removing and preparing a new foundation? This looks like it may have been a glorious building at one point. And what to say of these artificial islands in this time of ruins with buildings on them? 
one might think that this could possibly be natural. But this, with a powers, with an absolutely beautiful powers, and a small town, a little dome on the corner here. Unbelievable. Is this Ellis Island? Here again in 1932, everything in ruins. By 1930s, to imagine that you're abandoning a building doesn't make any sense. My town can barely keep a road pothole free with cheap asphalt, and this old world was able to lay brick, nice and level on the roads. Such an abundance of resources. And by the time the 1930s roll around, the people can't even maintain it. The truth is the old world was also very ordinary, and looks like every town and city throughout this realm. Yes, we discussed buildings built by giants, but this was built for regular people who are gone. And this is a colorized picture in 1911. And look at this tower, what is the purpose of this tower? At least according to our narrative. These windows and really half of the structure appears to have been devoted just to this top, which would serve very little purpose pre-1900s according to our narrative. This is a piece of tech in ruins. Down here we can see statues and just the weathering. This color image is excellent, really giving us a feel for this city already old in a very early time period. Let me know what you think. Was this city just forgotten? Or was it simply found? Were we such a prosperous people in which we would allow ourselves to build and eventually abandon such accomplishments in a time where the population is so small, hardly occupying the streets, let alone the buildings? And after all this time, we still don't know who were these people and where did they go? Subscribe if you like to ponder alternative knowledge. And remember, question everything.